This is Shepard Humphreys with the Jackson Hole Shooting Experience. The primary thing that our firm does is provide luxury entertainment shooting experiences for folks, and we teach long range shooting. However, since we are shooting instructors and we live in Jackson Hole, we also want to provide some community wide classes on a more affordable basis. We offer things like concealed carry, uh, women only pistol classes, tactical carbine classes, and a variety of other classes. Today I just wanted to chat about our concealed carry class and see if it's right for you. My be, might not be. The state of Wyoming requires people that want to get a concealed firearms permit in the state of Wyoming to have taken a class or be former military or law enforcement, a competitive shooter, or there are a few other things that you can do to qualify. So if you do need to take a class, it must be taught either by law enforcement or by an NRA certified instructor. There is not a specific specification for what the class looks like. So there are a lot of people that offer classes that are not as in-depth as we choose to be. Uh, there's even an online option where for 39 bucks or 79 bucks or something, you can just take a quick test from an NRA certified instructor and, and get your, uh, get your uh, uh, certificate of completion. And if that's your area of interest, we're probably not a good fit for you. That's, uh, we, we tend to teach people that really want to learn uh, and don't just want to get that piece of paper, uh, not just a certificate mill kind of thing. So our classes actually go beyond what the state requires. We want to make sure that you have a solid foundation in a lot of areas so that you can responsibly carry a gun or at least have one around your home, your vehicle for personal protection. If someone ever attacks you or your family, we want you to immediately end that gun violence. And we want you to be able to do so without hurting yourself physically or legally. So the way that the day looks is we arrive at about 9 a.m. typically. We spend the first three hours on various PowerPoint presentations. We cover the basics of firearms, what the different uh, parts of the gun are, the, the nomenclature of the, you know, where the, the trigger is and the front sight and the rear sight and how a semi-automatic operates versus a, a revolver and, and so on and so forth. Uh, we talk about the correct position to stand in, way to grip the gun, all those kinds of things. And then in the second section, we talk about some of the legal, ethical, and moral considerations if you are considering having a gun for personal protection. And this whole day, actually, is more about having a gun for personal protection than specifically concealing it on your person. Uh, so this class is more of a general defensive class. So we cover those moral, legal, and uh, the, the aspects that could get you in a lot of trouble if you do things wrong. We talk about that at great length, uh, especially the moral aspect. And then we spend a section talking about the tactics. And these are just some basic things that you can do to prevent yourself from ever being in a situation, and if you are in a situation, so that you can survive uh, most effectively. We then have a working lunch, uh, typically talking about something relating to firearms, self-defense. And then we go outside for a couple hours and we shoot. And we typically shoot anywhere from, I, I want everyone to shoot at least 50 rounds, and some people like to shoot more, two, 300 rounds. Uh, so we'll spend a few hours shooting. Uh, in the winter, it's usually a bit shorter because it's cold and miserable. And in the summer, we sometimes will be out there for three hours just having a blast. And our style of coaching this is everyone is at a different level, so we're not going to teach the person who is an expert uh, the same as we're going to teach the novice that's just beside them. They need different styles, and that's what we provide. So we have coaches walking around, talking to the different shooters, giving them tips, so you get a lot of different perspectives from a lot of great coaches. After shooting, we go back inside the classroom and we answer any questions that might have come up about shooting, about firearms, about self-defense, the legal, moral aspects, and we kind of just do a summary of what we've talked about throughout the day and make sure there are no remaining questions. And then we have our examination. And our examination is not the, the typical Prussian style uh, exam that's meant to stress the person out and, and just see if they can remember things for a few hours. This is actually more of a learning thing than a test of knowledge. We want to know if our students have learned uh, what we've taught throughout the day, what they've discovered from other students. So we have a lot of questions that are thought-provoking, uh, that stimulate some great discussions. It's actually my favorite part of the day are the, are the discussions that come from the test. And at the completion of the test, we usually uh, talk a little bit more uh, about any questions people have, and then we break. And sometimes that is at four o'clock in the afternoon, sometimes it's six. So if you kind of plan your day accordingly, that would be wise. Uh, as far as how much ammunition to bring, we have 22 caliber, uh, 9mm Luger, 380 caliber, uh, 45 ACP, and uh, 
357 Magnum handguns. However, uh, uh, my suggestion is that you bring at least one box of 9mm ammunition to shoot through our guns, regardless of what you have. And that's especially important if you have a small handgun that you have not used much, a little 38 Special Revolver or a little tiny 380 or 9mm pistol. Uh, those have a lot of recoil, and you're not going to want to shoot 50 or 100 rounds through them uh, in one sitting if you're not used to shooting. So I suggest you do bring uh, one box, 50 shots of 9mm Luger, and it's not a bad idea to bring some 45 ACP. Those are fun to shoot as well. So if you're coming with a friend, maybe you split a box of the 45 ACP. I'll have some ammunition on hand too. If you use mine, or if you use other students, I encourage you to just kind of be fair and uh, pay us back. Cause, you know, drop somebody a few bucks, figure out what it would cost, and, and let's all make it fair and even. But if it's just five or ten shots, no one's going to get too picky. Uh, speaking of which, try out your neighbor's guns. The people beside you, they'll probably let you use their guns. Let them use yours. We'll have about 30, 35 guns there, which is a great taste test and a great chance to kind of see what you do and what you don't like. So if this sounds interesting to you, we encourage you to check out TripAdvisor and see what the reviews are like, see if other people are satisfied with what it is that we do, see if uh, if we come highly recommended or not. And uh, if you're satisfied and you would like to come, then we do require that you register. Uh, if you just walk in the, the day of, we don't accept uh, walk-ins, even if we have room. It's something you definitely need to register in advance. So go ahead and register, and we'll look forward to seeing you at the range. Let us know if you have any questions, by the way. Send an email, and uh, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have.